Brain Rehab Clinic is proud to announce that they're the first clinic in Utah to have on site the gyro stem. Holly, if you smell smoke, it's because my brain is working overtime. I thought you were going to say mine is. Oh no, it's me, believe me. <laughs> uh, trying to wrap my brain around everything we talked about today. It's a lot, right? Yeah, the stuff from Dr. Hatch, the Napoleon Hill stuff that you were talking about. And it, it is, you're right, it's very encouraging, uh -huh. no matter how old you are, to be able to look forward and know that with all the new technologies and the procedures and stuff out there, mm -hmm. that you know you can get rewired, you can keep growing, yeah. you know, no matter your age. What he was saying about being 40, and it, so if you're under 40, it makes you want to get in there because, hello, make sure to keep your brain before it starts to make that transition. But if you're over 40, it's like, what the heck are you doing? Get in there because your brain has transitioned and you got to get in there and get that fixed up. And I think the combination of all of it that I think is the coolest between Dr. Hatch and Dennis at the Certified Hypnotherapy Training School mm -hmm. is that what I learned is it's never just one thing so it's like if you are doing the therapy and it's not working it might be because your brain functioned were you ever in a car accident did you ever injure your brain did you play football or a sport when you were younger and hit it really hard mm -hmm. because the effects can last for 30 years later it, it takes a long time to heal and a lot of times dr. Hatch sends his patients to see Dennis because he's been able to get the brain functioning right and now that brain is primed and ready for the therapy and the positive thinking and the Napoleon Hill stuff it's yeah. like you can take it in now and you mm -hmm. can hear it um, you know, there's a time in my life I know when I would hear like a Tony Robbins something and I was in a hard, going through a hard time. And I mean, I'd want to throw something at the TV or whatever was telling me to just smile because, <laughs> you know, there's that point where you're like, I, if it was just smiling, I would, I would be on that. But I think from the standpoint of even athletics, what's super fun mm -hmm. is that idea of are some of these guys who are still playing football all a Patriots, Mr. Handsome. Right, is, Tom Brady. Yes, and like Peyton, right? Ma mm -hmm. Is Peyton, Peyton Manning, Manning, he played over his 40s, right? Um, I think he was close. He may have played till he was 40. It makes you kind of wonder, were they doing some of this stuff because they've had such right. long careers in an industry that should be even setting them back right. further and stuff like that. So if you're into sports too, oh my goodness, yeah. this should be so much your jam. But right. yeah, for just the general person to know ways, that's why I wake up in the day to right. know these things. I have a good job, right? Yeah, you do. You, you have a fantastic join me more. job. Yeah, I, I'd like to. Okay. I'm going to take notes. Oh, <laughs> please so don't. So I'll remember this stuff. Just come have fun with me. We'll do it again. Okay. So, okay, well, watch for Todd in our Talking Movie series. It's on YouTube and join us on Facebook as well. For that, we'll be doing giveaways and fun things and and then in the meantime, thank you so much for being yeah, here. Thanks for having me. Have a wonderful day, everybody. We'll see you again tomorrow. See ya.